Hi guys, my name is Doug. Welcome to My Messy Garage. In today's video, we're going to be taking this collection of parts and making this. An intercooler for my air compressor. What's the purpose of an intercooler, you might ask? Well, when you compress air in the, uh, in the compressor head, it heats it up. Boyle's Law says as you raise the pressure, you raise the temperature. And uh, of course, warmer air can support more moisture. Then when it cools off in the compressor tank, it tends to uh, condense the water out of that warm air and you end up with a puddle of water in the bottom of the tank, which eventually gets picked up by the air and carried down the airline. I'm setting up a plasma cutter in the not too distant future. And I need to get bone dry air going to the plasma cutter because any water will tend to chew up the consumable tip. The other day I got some really good deals on uh, condenser regulator setups from Harbor Freight. They've changed their design. They've uh, discontinued this model and gone with a, a little bit nicer one. And these were on sale for I think like 23 bucks. I picked up four of them. This one is going to get mounted on the wall. It's going to have the main feed coming in from the compressor, do its thing inside and then go out to the, to the airlines. Here we have our intercooler radiator. It's essentially a transmission cooler designed to handle uh, several hundred PSI. So my compressor running at about 100, 120 should be no problem. It's got a 12 volt electric fan. I've got a uh, 12 volt power supply. So basically uh, when the compressor is running, we'll just run the fan. Here we have another one of these but I've stripped the pressure regulator off of it. And uh, this is going to work in conjunction with the intercooler. Basically the intercooler is going to cool the air and this is going to let the water condense out and then we can drain it out from here. I'm going to convert this over. I need an adapter to put a, a flare fitting on this because we're going to use A and 8 flare fittings between the compressor head this intercooler and condenser and the uh, top of the compressor tank. Over here in the corner where the uh, compressor lives, we, uh, we're gonna end up mounting this radiator something like this. You can see the top of the compressor where the motor and the compressor head bolt on. And that, uh, that bracket is about eight and a quarter inches wide. And the mounting brackets for the, uh, for the radiator are about eight inches wide the mounting holes are in around six. So my plan is to build some kind of pipe structure that comes up off of here and goes up and will support the radiator so that it blows through over top of the regular compressor. We'll come out of the compressor head here and into the radiator, out of the radiator, and I'll mount the uh, condenser down here, back out the top of the uh, condenser and into the top of the compressor. What I'm planning on doing is making a bracket, something like that, that the, uh, the radiator will bolt onto with the fan. And I happen to have some uh, one inch square tubing kicking around the shop. I think that's probably good material to build it out of. We're going to make this uh, six inches long here, and we're gonna make this uh, 16 inches long. And basically that'll bring us out far enough that we clear the, uh, the main motor and the start capacitor and gives us enough height to solidly mount the fan to the, uh, to the brackets. Let me get set up here and we'll uh, hack off a couple pieces of this square tubing. This long stick will mark out uh, two 16 inches. There's one. We'll mark that as being a 16 inch. Here's basically what the bracket is going to look like. Uh, one thing that I have seen many times in comments is uh, if you don't want to get yelled at online, don't show off your weld. So uh, I'm going to weld this up so that I don't fry the, uh, the sensor in my camera. I'll bring you guys back when I have both sides welded together. 
be nice in the comments now guys it's been a few months since i've run the uh, metal hot glue gun so i'm a little bit out of practice i think they're glued together though shouldn't be a problem now i need to figure out how to mount them to the uh, top of the compressor admittedly i uh, ended up trimming inch and three quarter off the length of this uh, the bottom bar here it just didn't fit well uh, up against the top of the compressor shorter is better so now we need to uh, lay out what we're going to use for bolt holes and we'll try this automatic center punch Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty disappointing. The last time I used one of these center punches, I at least got, you know, several dozen snaps out of it before it screwed up. This one mm, didn't even make one. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much beast junk. There is more than one way to uh, skin a cat, however. Good old fashioned center punch. And a nice big hammer. We'll come in from the end. Three quarters of an inch. And put the other one at two and a quarter. We'll start off with an eighth inch drill bit. We'll center the hole over top of the slot in the vise so that when I drill all the way through, it doesn't screw anything up. Now we need a little bit of uh, lubricant on there. With an eighth inch or thereabouts drill bit, we should be uh, running fairly uh, high speed. According to the size chart that's in the lid, we should be basically 1,000 to 1,500 range. 1,500, and I know you guys couldn't see that because of the way the camera's pointed, but basically I uh, just moved the belts around on the pulleys up in the lid. Turn on the drill press. We got the holes located in the uh, in the first piece. Now we need to copy them over to the second piece. And I'm thinking that uh, falling back on my favorite uh, transfer punches will probably do a good job. I've explained these in many other videos. Basically, you've got straight sides on the punch with a small tip, and you uh, use the right size uh, transfer punch to the hole that you are trying to transfer. You just give that a little whack with the hammer. It doesn't have to be real hard. How we adjust the speed on this, there's two kind of thumb screws here that tighten the motor down. And a lever that uh, slackens or tightens the belts. And we need to uh, go off the chart here 5 16 And we're going into uh, mild steel. So we're 660 to 700. So we need to put the front belt on the bottom and the uh, back belt stays where it is. Of course, I'll have to take the back belt off regardless. So with the motor slacked off, we just roll the belt up. That's got our uh, front belt. Belts are back on. That will give us 700 RPM. We lean on the uh, belt tensioning lever and we tighten up the thumb screw on the back side and the one on the front side. Close the lid so nobody's fingers get caught. And that gives us our motor RPM. And we'll drill this out to uh, 5 16 Put a little bit of fresh oil on there. There's our mounting bracket. Kind of just held in place with a C-clamp. We'll give the motor base on the compressor a whack with the uh, transfer punch. I'll take that off and uh, drill those out. Got the holes drilled. Give them a quick little deburr. When I move this piece to the inside rather than on the outside, the curve of the, uh, the top of the tank is catching just the corner of the bracket and is forcing it up just a little bit. I'm going to nip that off. I 
that's number one. We've got the second one clamped in. Let me grab the radiator and we'll hold it up in place and see how things look. That should work out, I think. Let me um, transfer punch those holes in and get them drilled out. I'll bring you guys back when I've uh, got it bolted back in place. A little short on space. I'd like to have you guys back a couple more feet than what I do. But... We'll drill these holes out. So they line up with the uh, with the one inch square tubing and then bolt through at the top at the bottom I don't know what we're gonna do because it's hard to get a, uh, a nut on the back side of that I'll figure something out though here we are with everything mechanically mounted up I think I'm gonna end the video here we've got the uh, mechanical part all dealt with the plumbing and the wiring I think is gonna be enough content to make its own video so I'll uh, do that separately Thanks a lot for uh, checking this out. Hopefully this is something that you want to try on your own compressor. And be sure to check back for the second part of this. If you've gotten this far in the video, can you do me a big favor and uh, throw me a thumb up, give me a like. That really helps out the video do better with uh, YouTube. Or hey, you can always leave me a comment. Let me know what you think I could do better. And uh, if you like what you're seeing from Doug's Messy Garage, why don't you subscribe? Maybe ring that bell icon and... We'll catch you in the next mess.